Halloween isn't over yet, gamers. Welcome back everybody to Halloween Grub. The last one took a little bit of time so I decided to do kind of an easy one this time. Uh, we're going to make cinnamon intestines. What are you gonna need? Cinnamon rolls of your choice. And food coloring. Red, of course, it's gotta be bloody. And a little bit of oil to oil your uh, pan thing. I'm using a uh, pie baker thingamajigger that I used in the uh, quiche video. First things first, gamers. Set your oven to 400 degrees. And now let's grease this. Uh, so I don't have any sprays, I'm just using, you know, just regular oil. Just put a little bit in, just dab. And then I just get a fresh paper towel and just, just kind of rub it around. You could use butter if you want to as well, but uh, I didn't think about that until literally just now. So I'm not using butter because of that. All right, now let's take these Pillsbury cinnamon rolls out. Wow. And then smash them on the counter. Pop open. Probably be good to have something to kind of work on a little bit too. And just get, get this. Take all the cinnamon rolls out. And also the cream cheese icing. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need it. Now let's just take these. And you can do one of two things. You could unroll it if you want to. Uh, but that's boring to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna form it. And just kinda, yeah. I don't know, maybe that isn't the best way to do it. Maybe I should unroll them. Let's try unrolling one. How do you, oh, I screwed this up. I don't think unrolling it is the right way for me to do it just because, uh, well, I'm just being stupid. Throw them in there. Oh, there we go. That one kind of unrolled. That one kind of, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, just unroll them. Just unroll them. Unroll them. Don't, don't squish them and everything like I did. Well, this one's squished because it got screwed up. If it gets screwed up, then definitely squish them and form them. <laughs> but if it doesn't get screwed up, then, then you're good to go. Try it again. Wah, ha, 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 ha. You don't want them to be super uniform because when have you ever seen intestines that were uniform? Hopefully you've never actually had to see intestines. Yeah, you know, there we go. Oh, no. This, that looks pretty good, you know? We're gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees for, try 17 minutes. On! You're probably gonna have to leave them in there for a little bit longer because they're all squished up together. So for all the dough to cook, you're gonna have to probably cook them a little bit longer, but we're gonna see what the maximum time on the packaging does and we'll go from there. While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and get our blood going. Blood. Take the lid off. Get a little bit of this food coloring and just, I don't know, like maybe two drops? I don't know. I don't really work with food coloring at all. Let's just get a chopstick, I guess, and just stir it up. Well, that made pink. So let's, <laughs> let's do a little bit more, maybe two more and see. I mean, I guess do it the color you want if you want to do it you want to do it pink, go ahead and do it pink. I want blood in this case. So that's still pink. That looks more like a rose than it does, than it does blood. Let's... Oh God, that's going to be too much, I bet. <laughs> My God, that's still not enough. How much food coloring do you need? I think that's pretty close. What do y'all think? That's, that's pretty close. Ah, screw it. Let's let's go for gold. Oops. Well, this thing is gonna be stained forever now. Oh yeah, there we go. 
Now that kind of, kind of looks like blood right there. So we'll go with that. That's like, I don't know, 20 friggin' drops. Hopefully this comes off this cutting board. Uh, it does not. Oh well. Okay, let's see here. I mean, they definitely look like, uh, definitely look like they're done. So, uh, I'm gonna say they're done. Okay, now all we gotta do is just gotta, like, drizzle this on top. Man, I should have put more food coloring in. This looks more like, this looks more like a patriotic 4th of July, uh, friggin' cinnamon rolls. Oh, well, well y'all get the point, though, right? Oh, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. So, the icing's falling to the bottom and everything, right? And it's bubbling down there. It's turning a darker red, actually. Uh, that's friggin' cool. Hope it's not, like, releasing gases that are gonna kill me or anything like that. That wouldn't... That wouldn't be good. You know, actually, as it's heating up, it really is getting to be, like, a darker red. All right, that's all the icing. I guess let's, uh... Get a knife or something and try to spread this out some, I guess? I don't know. Maybe a spoon would work better, actually. Yeah, I definitely think spoon is working a little bit better because I'm able to get like this, it's like this little pool right here and I think it's able to just get it a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. See, it looks, it does. No, it looks like friggin' intestines and that's friggin' cool. I love crap like this. I absolutely love it. And how does it taste? Well, I'm, I mean, it tastes like cinnamon rolls. If you haven't had Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, I mean, come on, it doesn't taste any different. It just looks cool, okay? It looks cool. This is great for, you know, all the Halloween parties that you shouldn't be having right now. That's all I got for y'all today. Thanks for watching, everyone. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go to my Twitch. I'm streaming more and everything. Love to see y'all there. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.